Good day everybody. This is lesson 3, an introduction to accounting part 3. So this is the last part of uh, the accounting introduction. Okay, so we'll be talking about these items. We have accounting concepts and then the qualitative characteristics of useful financial information and then the elements of financial statements. What should we see in financial statements and then financial statements themselves and an overview of the career opportunities that we have in the field of accountancy. Okay, so before anything else, please like and subscribe Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. Okay, sabi nila, please click the bell button so that you will be notified of the next videos. So please subscribe. <laughs> okay, so I think we're ready for the lesson proper. Okay, let's start. So let's discuss some accounting concepts first. Okay, what are the concepts that we usually tend to, we, what we need to know? In accounting okay first is going concern going concern principle is meron daw forever <laughs> uh, financial statements should be prepared on the assumption that the entity will continue in operations indefinitely hindi daw magsasara or else if there is an indication that the entity will close down then the financial statements should be prepared in a matter in a manner that is related to its liquidity. Okay? Eh, basta ganun. <laughs> okay? So, the going concern principle is um, relating to the preparation of the financial reports in thinking that the entity will not close. Kaya nga may forever. Parang ganun. Okay? So, that's going concern principle. Next, we have is accounting entity. In accounting entity concept, the firm or the business or the business entity is separate and distinct from the owner. So, the personal transactions of the owner should not be incorporated with the transactions of the business. That is, uh, that is the, thi there, actually, there is a thin line between a sole proprietor and his business. Eh. Kasi usually, nag-overlap eh, yung transactions ng sole proprietor na i-incorporate dun sa business mismo. So, we need to understand that the transactions of the owner as a uh, personal people, personal people should be separate from that of the business. Okay, so yung personal transactions niya, hindi natin dapat ini-incorporate dun sa dun sa business. Ayun. Okay. Next we have time period. We need to report financial results regularly. Now, in actual industry practice, we do it annually. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng annual financial statements. So, in accounting, we have two kinds of time period. The first one is the calendar year, and then the second one is the fiscal year. Pagka po, calendar year, from the word itself, galing sa kalendaryo, so, January 1 to December 31. Kapag ka naman po, fiscal year, one year period na hindi January 1 ang start. So, pwedeng kahit anong araw ng taon. Tapos, add one year. So, let's say, for example, July 1, 2018 to June 30, 2019. One year yon pero hindi nag-start ng January 1. Okay? So, um, kasi in accounting, if the information is not timely, it's not relevant. Eh. So, we should be able to report regularly. And the regular reporting is annual in actual industry practice. Okay? Next is monetary unit. All of the transactions that we record and the financial reports that we prepare should be in a in a monetary unit. Okay? It should be measured in a monetary unit. Well, in the Philippines, our financial statements should be expressed in the Philippine peso. Siyempre, ang tanungan, magkano eh, di ba? That's what we do in accounting. We deal with qualitative financial information. Okay? And then lastly, we have is the accrual basis of accounting. In accounting, kasi, dapat, when the revenue event happens, you record. Regardless kung hindi mo pa nare-receive yung bayad ng customer mo sa'yo. And we should also record the expense event even though hindi pa tayo nagbabayad ng cash. So, the accrual basis of accounting is, you record revenues when they happen, regardless of the receipt of cash. And expenses should be recorded at the expense event 
regardless kung kailan ka nagbayad ng cash okay because the uh, the opposite of accrual basis of accounting is the cash basis of accounting that you will only record revenues when you receive the payment of your customer and you will only record expenses when you already paid cash Okay, so those are the accounting concepts that you need to understand. Actually, there are much more accounting concepts, but uh, in the succeeding lessons or in the succeeding year, lev year levels that you will be into, so madadaanan nyo naman yun one by one. Okay, so let's continue. So let's now discuss the qualitative characteristics of useful financial information sabi natin accounting is a service activity and it gives us the opportunity to be able to make uh, economic decisions from the financial information that it provides us okay so to further improve our decision making because of the financial statements that we read um, we we need to be able to produce financial information that is a, uh, that has a quality, okay? That has quality. And what are these qualitative characteristics of useful financial information? So we have the fundamental qualitative characteristics, and then we also have the enhancing qualitative characteristics. Let's first talk about fundamental qualitative characteristics. Financial information should be relevant and faithfully represented. When can you say it's relevant? Kahit ano namang binabasa natin, pag feeling mo um, may relate siya sa iyo. Di ba feeling mo relevant siya? So ganun din 'yon, no? Um, when you are deciding about something, you are the owner of the company and you look at the financial results after one month, after one year and you are able to understand what really happened, then there is relevance. Okay, so relevance has two components. We can do it through predictions or confirmations. Okay, predictive value is because of the financial reports that you are reading, you are able to predict future outcomes. Okay, while confirmatory value is you are able to confirm past assumptions. So, kumbaga, Predictive value is predicting the future and confirmatory value is confirming the past. Ayan. So, kapag ka na-achieve yun, yan, dalawang yan, ibig sabihin, financial information is relevant. Okay? And then, financial information or financial statement items should also be faithfully represented. And when can we say that items are faithfully represented? It should be complete, neutral, so dapat objective yung pagkakagawa, walang bias, and free from error. In accounting, we are not expecting 100% accuracy. But what we are um, looking for is reasonable assurance. When you are already in your auditing subjects, and you, uh, the, you will be discussing about reasonable assurance. And then, uh, those fundamental qualitative characteristics can be enhanced by these four enhancing characteristics. The first one is comparability you are able to compare financial information. We have two kinds of comparability, intra-comparability and inter-comparability. Pag sinabing intra-comparability, you are able to compare the results of your operations or your own financial reports with your own financial reports of different years. In short, I can compare the financial reports of 2019 versus 2018. I am comparing myself to myself. That is intra-comparability. Kapag ka naman inter-comparability, I will compare or a reader of the financial statements will compare the financial statements of company A versus the operations of company B or the financial information of company B within the same industry. So you cannot compare financial statements of a pharmaceutical company versus a construction company. Medyo magkaiba yun. Kahit yung accounting or yung account titles natin is magkapareho. Okay? So, if you really want to achieve intercomparability, you should be able to compare it with uh, financial reports or financial statements of the same industry. Okay. Next is verifiability. Verifiability is si CPA A, di ginawa yung financial reports, Kahit gawin niya ni CPA B, 
pareho ng kalalabasan. The financial reports are verifiable. Yun yung verifiability. Sabi natin kanina, an item is not relevant if it's not timely. If it's not timely, it's not relevant. So, syempre, kailangan we report it regularly, we report it, we report it on a timely basis. That is timeliness. And then lastly, it is understandability. So, the financial information should be understandable. However, uh, achieving understandability has uh, is a two-way process. Okay? So, the accountant should be able to prepare financial information that is understandable to the reader so they can make economic decisions. But, syempre, ang expectation dun sa reader of the financial statements, meron siyang uh, basic knowledge of accounting and business to be able to understand the financial reports very well. So, understandability is a responsibility of the accountant who's doing the financial statements, but it's also a two way process because the reader of the financial statements should be a known reader. Okay, so that those are the qualitative characteristics of useful financial information. Okay, let's talk about the elements of financial statements. The elements of financial statements has financial position elements and financial performance elements. We will not be, um, ang tawag dito, yung hindi natin siya i-define ng technical definitions. Um, baka hindi nyo pa ganong mag-gets kapag ka technical definitions yung gagamitin natin. So, let's put it on a very, very light um, descriptions muna. When you are already in college and taking up basic accounting courses for BS in accountancy, then that's the time we will introduce you to much more deeper and um, technical definition. Okay, so the elements of financial statements are what are the things that we should see in the financial statements? What are the things that we should um, or that are itemized in the financial reports that we are reading? So under financial position or the balance sheet, we have assets, liabilities, and capital. Assets are the company's resources, no? the things that they own that gives them benefit in the future. For example, cash office supplies, office building, land, machinery, equipment, automobile, investment property, biological assets. Yun. Yun yung mga assets, no? mga resources na ginagamit nila and it gives them economic benefits. Okay? Next we have is liability. An entity also has obligations to pay. No? Hindi naman natin naiiwasan yung utang. Okay? So liability is utang. Okay, there are instances that an item we purchase is not yet paid for, so we have an outstanding liability on that. Or that we want to open up a new factory or a new factory plant or a new project, but we don't have the capacity uh, to pay it in cash, then we could do some loan arrangements. And loan arrangements will fall under liabilities, and we will repay those loans when they come due. So, pag may utang tayo, yeah, liability. Capital naman is do not limit yourself on the thinking that capital is puhunan. Okay? In accounting, capital is more than just that. Capital is the residual interest of the uh, of the owner in the assets of the business after deducting liabilities. Kung baga, a capital is magkano lang ba talaga yung iyo? Kasi, sabi natin, assets are the resources of the company, but they have obligations to pay, which are liabilities. So, parang ang dating, um, capital is equals to assets minus liabilities. Capital is equals to the resources minus the obligation. Kung ano yung matira doon, yun yung iyo. Tawag doon, capital. The rights of the owner in the assets of the business. Yun lang talaga yung iyo, kasi magbabayad ka ng utang. Ganon. Okay? Um... Yung puhunan na sinasabi natin in in a in a basic business parlance in accounting that's called investment. Okay? Initial investment to be very specific, that's initial contribution or initial investment. Okay? But uh, as an accounting major, do not box yourself in thinking that capital is puhunan. It's more than that. Okay? Next is financial performance. We have two items of financial performance. We have revenues and expenses. Ganto lang ka simple. Revenue kinita, expenses ginastos. Pag mas malaki ang kinita kaysa ginastos, congratulations. Kumita ka. Ganun lang, okay? So, uh, technically, revenue should be greater than expenses 
and then you'll get net income. But if expenses in the period is greater than the revenues that you earn, then that is net loss. Lugi ka, kapatid. Okay? Oh, yun lang yun. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? So, those are the elements of financial statements. Now, these elements of financial statements are reported in the following financial statements. First is, statement of financial position. So, again, we will not be dealing with the technical terminologies and technic uh, technical definitions of these. So, I will just be giving you an overview. In the statement of financial position, you also call this the balance sheet. Okay? So, the balance sheet reports the assets, liabilities, and capital of a company at a certain time period, usually after one year. Pero pag financial position, as of one year, hindi yung for that year lang. Kasi the, th uh, the items that we report in the statement of financial position are real accounts. And when we say real accounts, dere-derecho yung amount nun, no? Um, kunyari, if you have cash of 50,000 in 2018, tas hindi yun nadagdagan or nabawasan, so in 2019, ang ire-report mo pa rin cash, 50,000. Hindi kasi nawawala yun. Okay? So, um, uh, you will get that better you know, when we are already talking about numbers in our next videos. Okay, next is the statement of comprehensive income. So, um, actually, this is a very technical term. No, kasi actually, when you are in, in higher accounting, we have actually two kinds of income statement. We have the income statement and then the statement of comprehensive income. But you can already use the word statement of comprehensive income. But basically, what we will be talking here in basic accounting is more on the income statement, which is yung binanggit ko kanina na revenue minus expenses. Kinita minus ginastos. Yun yung nire-report natin dyan. Okay? Tsaka na tayo mag-usap tungkol sa comprehensive income. Statement of Changes in Equity reports the changes that, had ha that has happened in the capital of the owner. Sabi sa inyo, capital is not boxed into the definition of puhunan. Okay? So, the changes in equity reports what has happened in the capital of the partner. Nagkaroon ba ng additional investments? Nagkaroon ba ng additional contributions? Nagkaroon ba ng net income? Or baka naman nag ng cash yung owner ng company? So, those are the things that will affect the equity of the owner. And Siyempre, we also want to talk about uh, what is the what are the uh, cash items that goes in and what are the cash items that goes out. How much cash goes in, how much cash goes out in the three major activities of the entity, which is operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. Those are all reported in the statement of cash flows. We will also be um, uh, talking about those items uh, like operating, investing, and financing activities in uh, the next lessons that we have. Okay. And siyempre, notes and disclosure. So, lahat po ng apat na financial statements, lahat ng explanations, lahat ng supporting computations, and lahat ng gusto nating i-explain at i-disclose. Nandun po yan sa dulo, ang tawag po doon, notes and disclosures. Okay. Um, in the future, we will be showing you financial statements uh, and how do these financial statements really look like. Okay, and so after graduating Bachelor of Science in Accountancy and becoming a certified public accountant, where can you go? So this is only an overview. This will be discussed further in college. Okay, so first is you can do public practice. Remember auditing? Yon, uh, those, are, those are things that we can do in public practice. Pag public practice po kasi uh, tayo ay third-party accountant na mag-audit ng uh, financial statements na ginawa ng private companies. Ayun, di ba? Auditing is verification and checking of accounts. So, that's a, that is the number one example of public practice uh, accountancy opportunity. Ayan. Okay. Next is commerce and industry or private practice. It, ganito lang kasimple. Accountant ka with a decision-making function inside the private company. Or in short, accountant ka na isang company na private. Ayan. Kasi kung hindi private, baka dito, government. You are you are an accountant working for the government. Bureau of Internal Revenue, Department of Finance, 
uh, Department of Budget and Management, Bureau of Treasury, ayan. So, yung mga... And, syempre, lahat ng accounting departments ng lahat ng uh, government agencies and government bureaus and departments. Ayan. It will fall under government. Ayan. Commission on Audit. I forgot pala. Ayan. Ganun. And, syempre, like, the, well, like what I'm doing here is teaching accounting to accounting majors, accounting education. Okay, so I think that will be all. Thank you very much. Again, please like and subscribe my channel, Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. The next video after this is a 15 item true or false quiz. So, pakibalikan yung lesson 1, lesson 2, and lesson 3. Then, please test your knowledge in our 15 item true or false quiz. Maraming salamat!